and welcome to this new episode of Continuum Gaming, this time around in English, as you may already have noticed. And today we are going to have a look at three different games again, which will be Maya Golf Pro, Penalty Click Soccer Game and Modern Sniper Gun Shooter 3D. That's a mouthful. Um, whatever. So, uh, yeah, and as always, I've got a couple of different things with me, which is, of course, for instance, this Arc Mouse, um, just for mouse input, of course. We are going to use the Fordle keyboard, which is this keyboard here, to, uh, for all the keyboard input, of course. And, uh, yeah, in theory, there would be the Xbox One as wireless controller, but in this episode, we are not going to use this one. And um, so, this is more or less everything I need for the input device stuff. And uh, additional to that, of course, we need the smartphone itself, which is in this case a Lumia 950XL. Um, in this case, booted up into the Windows 10 mobile version. Um, as you may already know, I have um, done a dual boot system now, and um, we can boot into Windows 10 ARM too. Um, if you didn't know about that, you might want to have a look at uh, uh, suggested videos uh, uh, there. I will put it in there and you can have a look at that too if you want to. But uh, for now we are going to use the Nostan mobile version here to have Continuum enabled and use that for, for all the other stuff here. Um, that means of course that we are... Yeah, I disconnected the cable for now. Um, that we are of course using the Lumia 950XL in this case with um, the USB cable connected to it at the sky point here, USB-C in this case. And um, of course the USB-C cable itself is connected to the display dock which is standing at the side, this little box here. And the little box is connected to the, uh, the TV at this place and like that we can use for instance this desktop, uh, uh, desktop like experience in this case. Um, and we can of course use for instance all the different input devices like the mouse and the keyboard and stuff like that to manipulate this or to control this uh, desktop kind of experience. Yeah, and if you want to know more about that, please have a look at the corner there. I will show you a couple of different videos there and um, you might want to have a look at that. And yeah, other than that, I would say let's start with the first game, which is Maya Golf Pro. For that, I'm going to go to my start list here and going to click on that to put in Maya Golf. That should be enough. There we go. Um, Maya Golf is maybe a little bit different than you are going to expect. So it, it depends a little bit. Um, yeah, I don't want to uh, to wait you at the moment. The, yeah, there is a little bit of a of a heavy use of banners and stuff like that in this game, but in the end, it's a quite nice game. You can play it without much uh, much hassle or disturbance. And um, yeah, what what we will play here is not the typical golf game. It's a little bit like that, but not really because you are going to have to go um, with the golf ball like in a side scroller or something. It's it's a little bit different. I, I like it quite. It's it's nicely done. It's more like of I don't know something where you really have to, to think about how to play and um, it's not going to be just just uh, going to uh, try to put something into the uh, into one of the holes or something but uh, it's really all about um, going on and on and on and trying to go to play this and it's not going to stop after you have just I don't know put in uh, one or two of the golf balls but uh, it really helps to go on and play it longer and I like it. So let's have a look. Um, first off we can have a look at the options here. There's of course not too much here. We could um, enable or disable the uh, sound output which is pretty small anyway so we don't need to. Um, at the bottom here you can change the language if you uh, want to use another one and yeah, so let's play this and uh, let's see what this is all about. Yeah, as mentioned before there is a little bit of, of advertisement going on before that with, and with all the banners but nothing too bad. I will increase the sound volume here a little bit with my uh, photo keyboard. On the film affordable keyboard there are these action keys for that just so you know what I'm going to do here 
And um, yeah, now you see we have a couple of different levels, and one level contains of a lot of different um, yeah challenges. Let's say it, uh, say it like that. And what you have to do is now just use one. And as you can see, here's a golf ball, and you of course want to go to this hole. In this case, it's pretty easy. Um, there is not much of uh, a problem if you are going to use more than one shot or something, or more than a couple of shots, whatever, um, because uh, it's all about your uh, your points here, but you're not going to die or something from having too many shots. So what you're going to do is a little bit like on Flappy, on um, on Angry Birds or something like that, and um, you are just going to uh, to drag more or less a point. So put your mouse cycle somewhere; it doesn't matter where, and just drag. Your, your finger or your mouse uh, to another direction and then just leave it and let go and it will fly there. And um, as you can see there is going to be a little bit of a, of a physical engine in here or a physical engine going on here and um, sometimes it's quite okay, sometimes it's, it's really really hard to consider um, realistically but whatever. Hey that one should have fallen in, I think. Oh, come on. Okay. I hope this is a presenter problem. <laughs> and this is going to go away a little bit. Not really. Okay. A little bit more then. Yeah. And if it's going to be put in there, you can see that the hole is going to disappear and uh, is going to be the next starting point for you. And so you are going on. Seven. I already got seven. Okay, whatever. So, um, as you can see, you can of course uh, play the ball uh, in different directions and stuff like that. It was not bad at all. If I'm not going to overpower it now, I'm going to have a little bit of a better score there. Yeah, and as you can see, the score is going to rise up, and we are going to try to get the next one done. Um, all the time if you are for instance going out off the, the play field or something then you are going to restart and there are going to be a different kind of obstacles here. So for instance um, there are going to be trees in which you can play, there are going to be water holes and stuff like that and um, like that maybe sand or something I'm not sure. No thank you. Uh, maybe sand or something, I'm not sure about that. But in the end, it's pretty nice to be there, be played. You don't have any kind of... There's a water hole, there's a tree, as you can see. Um, and in the end, you don't have to, to care about time or something. You are just trying to play. And um, yeah, of course, if you're going to go into water, then you're going to restart where you played from the last time at least. And um, if, for instance, you are dropping into a tree, it will just drop down then. Okay, let's try that again. Better, but still bad. Okay, we are trying to get into the tree, I think. That might be the best idea. But that's not going to happen if I play like this first time I played I was pretty pretty good in this, but now I'm really really bad. So let's see. Let's try to get out of the hole here and go up the hill. Okay, not like that. That was close, but not close enough. Let's try it again. Nope. Not going to uh, get that done. Okay, let's try. And now you just have to figure out how to get this, uh, this working. It's not always easy, as you can see. You really have to, uh, to try different things out here. Sometimes it's going to work like it should, sometimes it's not. And as you can see, it's going to hit this edge at the moment for me. So 
Yeah, what we have to do is we have to go to this point or we have to hit the tree. I think everything else is very, very unlikely that it's going to work. That was not hard enough. At least we are going to start from here. No. Okay. Worst game experience I have had for a long time, but not because the game is bad, but I am bad at it. Yeah, um, I don't know if you are going to see... Yeah, yeah, ooh, okay, that was just luck, just to uh, let you know. So, um, they helped me out of my misery here, but the next... Let's see, we can, for instance, just drop it. So, just play it down below the, uh, the tree, we can uh, uh, pull it over the tree, or we can just uh, shoot into the tree and let it drop there. I'm going to try to just... Let it roll down. Let's see if that is happening. Uh, at least it worked. And there we go with, with hole 5 in this case. And as you can see, you are going to have different obstacles here. They are going to be a little bit uh, changed from one screen to the other. Okay. That one was the best, uh, best shot I will get today, so I'm going to leave it like that. But as you can see, um, yeah, this is more or less a game if you like a little bit slower and you don't want to be, I don't know, hurried or something, then this is probably a good game for you and you should try it out. As you can see, it's going to be a long game and there are a couple of different levels here and of course you have these, these different holes you are going to have to um, master here and yeah, this is more or less what this is going to look like. So let's have a look at the next game. The next game is called Penalty Kick Soccer Game. And yeah, it's a soccer game. So uh, what you are going to do here is you are going to try to, to shoot on a, on a goal, of course, and get goals. And um, yeah, let's open that up first and I will show you that. It's in the end, there it is. Uh, it's in the end a 3D game. A very simple 3D game, but still a 3D game where you are going to have different positions from where you are going to play on it. Um, you are going to use your mouse or finger, depending on what you are using here. And um, I'm going to switch around again. And um, yeah, so uh, all you can do here is, for instance, uh, just shut off the music or not, and everything else is more or less um, not important. And if you click on that, you have three different gaming modes. Until uh, now, I, st I only played a card, so let's try that. And uh, yeah, what is going to happen here? You are the guy who is going to uh, shoot on the uh, on the goal here, of course. And um, you are going to do that by just putting your mouse down or your finger and just throwing it in one of the directions here, more or less. So let's do that. And. Of course, um, you you are going to be more or less hindered by the by the goalkeeper here, um, but in the end, he is really the worst goalkeeper I could imagine. He's really only reacting if you are playing already, and then he's really not going to help you. But you can, as you have seen here, um, for instance, not target right, and of course go out of the, of the goal here, but as you can see, if you are not too stupid as I am in this situation, you are going to be able to do that. And uh, all you have to do here is get as many shots into the goal as you can in a row. In most situations it's pretty easy. You can see that there is a random positioning here, so you can, I think, switch this off, but this is a random positioning. So, um, in this case, you cannot just go on and on and on and uh, do all the time the same, uh, same movement or something. Um, so, it's yeah, pretty nicely. Some, uh, sometimes you are pretty far away, sometimes you are closer to it and stuff like that. So, if you like... Oh, wow, that was a really bad keeper. <laughs> that one is going to be fixed there, yeah, okay. So, uh, as you can see, my high score is 3 or something. I didn't play it very, very much till now, but uh, if you have... Ooh, that was... that was an interesting one. 
Um, yeah, okay. Um, so as you can see, you are going to be playing this all over again, all the time, more or less. Zip is close. And if it's really, really close to one of the edges or something, then you see you get some kind of a, of a slow motion part there. But in the end, what you want to do here is just put it in and play it. And this is more or less what you are going to have to do. After that, if you are not going to win it for one reason or the other, so not putting the ball into the net, um, Oh, this one is close as it seems, but rocked. Um, yeah, and this is more or less what we are going to play here. And I'm on fire as it seems here. Oh, that was the best shot the keeper had at me till now, I think. Okay, no, he got me there. And now it's game over. Okay, and yeah. As you can see, this is more or less the game. It's really a simple game, but if you like some kind of football or soccer in this case, um, then just try it out. Uh, it might be a good idea to, to play it and try it out. Okay, so, and now let's have a look at the last game. And the last game is called Modern Sniper Gun Shooter 3D. A mouthful, I know. Um, in this case, this is really... Um, yeah, a sniper game, and uh, we already had a couple of them, and it's quite equal to uh, to some of them. Um, the good thing is, uh, controls are really really nicely done. In uh, if you are using mouse and uh, on keyboard, for instance, you can very easily switch them, and um, in the end, you are going to have a couple of assassination, um, yeah, contracts or whatever you want to call that, and uh, then you just have to to do that and try to uh, to uh, snipe away the people or the, not the guys or the cars or different things here um, which you are yeah, more or less advised to do. So if you are not 18 or something you might want to leave this game out but um, that just to have it all. Okay, so what we are going to do here of course we are going to go to the all apps list again. I'm clicking on that and now I'm going to put in um, the name, which is of course more than, there it goes, okay, Modern snipe, Sniper Gun Shooter 3D FPS Shooting, whatever, okay, so uh, if you click on that you are going to be presented with a yeah, simple but effective interface as you have, I think. There we go. All you can do here is you can, for instance, play it. You can switch between PC controls and touch controls or mobile controls. So uh, if you are on the smartphone, you of course want to switch this to another part. In the Continuum world, you want to use PC controls. He is able to detect them somehow, I don't know why. And uh, after that, just hit play. And uh, he's going to tell you what uh, how it is, is played. You can, for instance, go with the terminal. Uh, vision, so uh, every body and stuff like that will be highlighted. Um, helps, of course, because some of the guys are going to shoot back on you. That's very interesting. Never had that in a sniper game before. Um, of course, you're going, uh, going to have to shoot and you have to aim and that's all. So, um, let's go and click on start. You're going to have uh, a little tips and stuff like that at the uh, bottom here, so blow up cars to kill uh, more than one uh, at a hole. And as you can see, all gang members wearing right vests have to be assassinated in this case. Um, you are going to change weapons around, and as you can see, it's a 3D game, of course, and we are going to try to get those guys. Um, yeah, I will use one of the of the helper hinds here we already got. As you can see there is a car and cars are really really easy to blow up with this kind of weapon we are using here. Let's do that and as you can see we already got a couple of them but now it's going to be hard to kill him in general because if they are really running it's not that easy anymore. And he's going to get away and that is going to leave me alone here, yeah. Okay, 
So I failed the objective because I didn't get kill everybody here. We are trying it that again. Of course, this is an, an advanced level already. I played it for a couple of, of um, minutes already. And um, you are not starting with this gun, for instance, there are going to be other guns. Um, at the first, you are going to have a very, very simple sniper gun and so on and so forth. And now let's see what we can do. This was a pet one. And as you can see, you can have limb shots and st stuff like that. A lot of them, if you ask me, especially with a sniper gun. But whatever, you can have, for instance, uh, headshots if you are good at it. And we are going to lose this. No freaking way. Okay, let's try it again. Start. And uh, in this game you really have to be pretty pretty precise, so being just a little bit uh, next to something is really going to not let you win in this case. So very very interesting, if you ask me, and now we are just trying to kill more than one, let's do that. That didn't really work. I thought that that guy... Oh, come on. Now I'm not even getting the... Uh, that's not helping. Not even getting the car here. So I'm not going to be able to... to... win this. And you can, for instance, have a hard shot. You can have a body shot. You can have a limb shot. So a limb shot is really not going to, to help you at all. And you can, for instance, have a headshot in this case. And that are more or less the shots I, I already saw here. Let's see if I can, can solve this. I'm not sure if we are going to win this. But it's, of course, we are going to try it at least. That one was bad again. He's going to get away, or at least if I can get him, the other guys are going to get away. Because it's really very, very hard to, to shoot one, especially in the running. So, didn't work out. Let's try it again. Sometimes there is this kind of, of um, advertisement in there, nothing too worse in this case. We can, for instance, get rid of that if we don't want to use it here. Oh, interesting. I never had that before, so if you are clicking on it, your mouse pointer is going to go away. Okay, that is unfortunate. Let's see if I can get rid of this again. Yeah, okay. With, of course, um, I tap you can always try to do that if something is happening and then just get rid of the game and, and restart it. But um, in the end you already know what this game is about. And um, let's click on it again. Um, it's really loading fast so we are not losing much here and I'm going to try it one or two times again. Um, in the end, this is a game, so you are going to have different levels here. I, I had a couple of other levels already played here. And um, of course you just have to get that done now. Yeah, and there is some kind of a bullet time for instance, so that the bullet is very smoothly and very... Um, yeah, very, very... Um, slowly going to hit the target if, for instance, you have a very, very good shot, like for instance a hard shot or... A, headshot or something and um, in general if it's the last one that you're going to win the level then that's going to happen. Other than that let's start this now and yeah I'm not sure if we are going to win this or not. Interesting. They so really walked on for a long time already and let's just try it. Okay that one worked. 
Nope. Yeah, I'm probably not going to make this again. Especially reloading time is just killing me now. Yeah, but in the end we got four of them and I think you already know how the game is going on here and um, of course there are a couple of different levels with different things to do, different weapons and stuff like that. So just try it out. It's a pretty nice game if you like sniper games and um, yeah, it's, it's more or less challenging and at the same time pretty interesting and nice because for instance, you're going to be re-attacked by other guys, so if you're uh, hitting somebody, he's going to shoot back and stuff like that. It's interesting. And um, so try it out. It's really a nice game and I hope you have fun with it. And this is more or less the conclusion of this episode. I hope you had a lot of fun and that there was one or two of the games which you really like or even all three. And um, yeah, other than that, please give a thumbs up if you didn't do that till now for the video, if you liked it. And of course, uh, if you have any kind of questions, please put them down below in the commentary section. And of course, if you didn't subscribe to this uh, channel till now, please try to do that. Um, it's a button down below, so if you do that, um, you're of course supporting the channel. And in the end, of course, you're not going to miss any other episodes in future. And yeah, other than that, thank you for watching. Thank you for listening. I hope you have a great week. We are going to see us in the next weekend. So on Saturday or Sunday, whatever. And um, other than that, thank you for watching. Thank you for listening. See you and bye. Bye.